when you saw the name Kyle Nelson, did you know who he was? Was he on your radar? No, um, I didn't know who he was. I thought they were going to match us, match me back up with Gavin Tucker, who mm. uh, you know we were matched up with before. But I guess he already had a matchup, so I had to look up Kyle Nelson, and uh, I didn't know who he was. But then I remember um, I looked, at, I watched his last fight. Um, he fought uh, what was it, Polo Reyes, yeah. and I knew Polo Reyes because he beat my teammate Matt. Um, and I remember kind of cheering for Kyle because um, uh, Polo Reyes tested positive for steroids, and so yeah. I, I never liked that. I'm, I'm I'm usually against guys like that, mm-hmm. so I actually I actually watched Kyle Nelson fight before, and I actually cheered for him because he knocked out Polo Reyes right away, mm-hmm. not even thinking that I would I would eventually fight him. So. The only I, I didn't know I didn't put the name together you know I didn't put two and two together until I saw that and I watched that fight again, um, so yeah I appreciate him knocking out uh, you know that that steroid cheater uh, Polo Reyes, mm-hmm. uh, but now he's got to fight me and you know I, I don't take steroids I, I'm not coming off of steroids so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a really fun fight I think yeah you're coming off COVID maybe that's a a super yeah power. maybe yeah maybe <laughs> but uh, yeah I feel you know. Uh, there was really never any like crazy symptoms. I never felt like drained or anything like that. So, um, and, and the time off might have helped because I was a little banged up after the spike fight. So I was able to, uh, you know, do my strength and conditioning. And uh, I feel 100% now. I feel great going into this fight. And I was actually able, you know, going into the spike fight. We basically only did Zoom workouts. We did a lot of Zoom workouts. We did some secret training sessions. But now uh, now in Florida, you know, our gyms are opening back up. My strength and conditioning gym is opening back up. So uh, you're going to see a lot stronger, a lot faster Billy Q this fight than last fight. Stylistically, do you see anything unique about Nelson, let's say, compared to Spike Carlisle? Because Spike Carlisle is a unique character. Yeah, yeah, you know, like uh, Spike kind of kept me up at night, just wondering what this crazy guy is gonna do. Mm-hmm. Um, with Kyle, I think we kind of know, and we kind of know what to look for. You know, he's uh, he's a very fundamentally sound striker. He's a he's a good striker. He mixes in wrestling really well, um, and he, and he's a big power puncher. So we obviously got to worry about. You know, we obviously can't get caught. Uh, you know, staying in the pocket for too long, getting clipped with with one of those big power shots. Um, but overall, I, I like the matchup. You know, I, I like the matchup right away. And uh, you know, I'm not in any position to turn down any fights. I wouldn't do that anyway. So uh, you know, let the let the best man win. I think we got a lot of a uh, lot of advantages going into this fight, and uh, I think it's going to be a fight of the night. I think it could be it could be a fight of the night or a performance of the night if uh, if I can get a hold of him early. Two fights in the UFC. You know, you had a great fight on Contender Series. One submission, one slobber knocker of a fight. The last one. You know, uh-huh. what type of performance you say fight of the night or performance of light? Do you see like a, a, a more of a possibility of a knockout or a, a submission again? Yeah, um, I think. Yeah, I definitely think he's going to come out super aggressive. Um, you know, it's kind of my thing now that that people are picking up that I got really good cardio. Um, and if we do go three rounds, I'm going to be going hard in that second and third round. So I think he's going to try to get me out of there quick. He's going to try to put me away. That could that could. Uh, you know, lead to some openings, um, you know, whether it be I could slip a punch and take him down or I could land one of my own shots. So I think there's a lot more pressure on him to try to finish me because, you know, he knows that the longer this fight goes, the more I'm going to wear him down. The the Sean Woodson fight, of course, it was canceled because of uh, visa issues. Now you get rescheduled to ta- uh, take on Billy Quarantillo September 12th. What is your breakdown of uh, his style? Uh, you know, Bill is more of a survivor. I think he, um, you know, he's got a procedure to do black belt. Um, he's good on the ground. He's okay. Standing up, um, got a little bit of wrestling, but, um, he's not really, I don't see him as a killer. You know, you don't see him coming out and, and, you know, really looking to take people apart and hurt them and stuff. Kind of comes out, he survives for a bit, you know, he's got okay cardio. So maybe in the later rounds, he'll start to look for a submission or something. But, um, yeah, I definitely don't see him as as a scary opponent. Um, you know, I'm a killer. I go in there and I'm looking to finish. I'm looking to hurt people. And, uh, you know, now I'm able to, to maintain that for three rounds. So he may be able to survive the first couple minutes, but, uh, you know, with the pace I'm going to bring and, and the power I'm bringing, you know, it's going to break him pretty quick. So how do you predict, uh, this fight against Billy? I I've seen that you're thinking about the knockout. Where do you see yourself outshining him? Uh, I mean, outshining him is, I think, anywhere I really want to, I, I could outshine him. I mean, he's he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but, uh, you know, I've been doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu for, like, 15 years now. Um, you know, I've rolled with lots of black belts. Uh, you know, I've been all over the place. So, um, 
I think I can beat him pretty much anywhere. But uh, I think where it will be most exciting is if I knock him out. So uh, I think we're going to see. Uh, and I mean, the fight starts on the feet. So as soon as I touch him, who knows? He may he may go down pretty quick, or you know, I may have to put together a couple combinations before he goes down. But uh, yeah, I definitely see my power uh, stopping him early in the first.